wife. I am finished. You're finished? You said it. You said it. You said it. <laughs> Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You are welcome. Why are you standing outside? Is my daughter not in? She's inside. Bobby? Huh? Is anything the matter? Y yes, ma. Sorry. No, no. Everything is all right. Nothing is happening. What is wrong with her? Obi <sighs> came with bad news. What bad news? She has refused to talk. Diana? What did he tell you? Know what I'm thinking. frown at me. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry. But I'm here now. <laughs> Uzo, what is it? It is a long story. The wedding is cancelled. I don't get it. Who cancelled the wedding and why? Uzo, talk to me. Wow, my baby is what? Welcome home. Mother, mm -hmm. who cancelled Obi's wedding and why? Why don't you come in and freshen up first? Mom, that can wait. At least tell me something. We'll talk later. I 
trust you to handle this better. But seriously, are you going to let my brother go through the bitter pain of polygamy just because some woman shows up from nowhere and says he's responsible for her pregnancy? Bella, your brother has owned up that he's responsible for a pregnancy. He must marry her traditionally and then go ahead to marry Diana in a court. I think I've been fair enough. I'm sorry, Father. I really don't want to question your judgment. Well, is there no other way this can be handled? There is no other way. Your brother will emerge the next king of this kingdom when I must have joined my ancestors. He doesn't need enemies. When I told you I don't like that family, you chose not to listen to me. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Oh my goodness. What do we do now? <laughs> what will people say? Hey, Jesus Christ. What do we do with those items we bought for the wedding? Go and tell them my daughter will not be used as an object of Fredico. You are not going to have any court wedding with any goat. Diane, I think you should go and meet your uncle. He might tell you what to do. You know I won't support this rubbish, right? I don't know why this is happening to me. I can't believe this is happening. Sweetheart, I want to have a word with your friend. Please, can you give us a minute? I still love Obi. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. But my mother is against the court wedding. Listen, Diane. Let me tell you something. Desperate times, they say, call for desperate measures. And this is one of those times. Look at me. Look at me. You will stand firm and fight this through. You hear me? And that's why I've come up with a plan. It will work. Trust me. Oh, it's fine. You'll be fine. Okay? Nobody tells anybody how to bear pains. I want to bear this pain alone. I still love Obi. So what are you saying? I will wed him in court. What? No? Deserve better, my friend. You cannot become a second wife at this age. There is no age to become a second wife. That girl is desperate to be married into a real family. But I want to marry him. I want to marry him for love. At the end of the day, love will triumph. You are unbelievable. Then, what did I hear you say? I will wait him in court. That will be over my dead body. If I don't, what will happen to the unborn child? 
And what's the meaning of that? I'm carrying this child. What's the problem? I had a nightmare. What's the, what was it about? Diane. Diane was short. God forbid. God forbid. Well, you're full. Why are you still awake? If your decision is reasonable, it will not keep you sleepless at night. Hello? Don't ever call this number again. Did, did someone pick up? Yeah. Someone said I, I shouldn't call this number again. Was it Diana's voice? No. Call the number again. When I am finally here, I will make sure you are punished for this rubbish. I will not allow you to enter inside until they are back from wedding. Wedding? What wedding? The prince is having a court wedding today. No, my princess. And you let her in? What are you doing here? <laughs> so, Obi, you got wedded in the court, isn't it? <laughs> my mother asked me to come and stay here. My pregnancy gives me headache. The baby is stubborn. So, I've come to stay with his father. Listen to me, young man. Inasmuch as we have decided to marry your vision, you don't have the right to barge in here anytime you like. My king, please, let's just allow her. No, it won't happen. She will not sleep in this palace until her bride price is paid. 
Now that said, young woman, get out. Or do you need a push? Get out! Guard, place this box outside. Now! Leave! sent for me. What were you doing upstairs? Oh, I was arranging my kids. Really? And you forgot that you would cook for us to eat, right? Or you want me to cook and serve everybody? No, ma. I, I asked the maids to cook. The maids? Like I did not see the maids before I asked you to cook. My friend, go and cook! Sorry, ma. That's the way to the kitchen. So, you have chosen to speak to me anyhow. In the presence of everyone, right? Everyone already knows who you are. I am just concerned about that innocent girl who will be facing your bad attitude in this house. You speak to me with so much arrogance. Do you realize that I am not just your mother, but the queen of this kingdom? Yana is a potential queen! Mother, do you even realize that? No, you don't! Guess you don't think about any other person but yourself. Good night, mother. Wow. My daughter talks to me carelessly because of that girl. I will certainly work out. Honey, you're taking too much time. Where are you going? Taking my wife out for lunch. Out for lunch? Oh, yeah. What happens to eating at home? Can't she just stay and prepare something for you to eat? And what happens to you minding your business, knowing full well that she's my wife and you don't need to interfere in our affair? Oh, really? Oh yes, really. Honey, I'm still waiting! I'm coming! She's coming. Hey baby, I'm here. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> what? Why are you dressed like this? Don't you know you are a potential queen? I heard that! I heard that! <laughs> Mama, it's good to know that you finally realize all of a sudden that Diana is a potential queen. And sweetheart, I think you look amazingly beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Shall we, baby? Of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I please come? Take care. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. Don't, don't be. Come anywhere close to me. Don't be like that. Don't come anywhere close to me. Don't look at me like that, Your Majesty. <laughs> you want to do a court wedding with another woman when your son got my daughter pregnant? Um, hmm? um, actually, my son is planning on um, coming with his kinsmen next week to see your husband. Let me inside. This is, let us settle it here. I want to talk to your husband. No, please, you can't do this to me. I said I want to talk to your husband. 
save my marriage. Oh! Please. Oh! Please. You want me to save your marriage? When you cannot save my daughter, the shame of being called a loose girl. No, no. Excuse you! Excuse you what? Who is this? Oh, I am Bella. Princess Bella, actually. Oh. And woman, this place does not look like a marketplace. And if you are responsible enough, you should know that you should keep your voice low when you talk here. Mom, dad won't like this, and you know it. Listen. Your brother got my daughter here pregnant. Uh -huh. He did? Yes, yes, he did. <clears throat> you know something? If I must say, she doesn't in any way look like my brother Speck. Oh. Yes. I have known him all my life, and I can tell you that comfortably. But if your daughter is that desperate to be in the royal household, then good luck to you, boo boo. Mm -hmm. You don't talk to me like that, you ugly looking princess. Now you will shut that hole in your face, or I will shut it for you. You really? shut up! No! But let me finish! You dare not talk back at me. Say one more word and I will have the guards bundle you out of this place this minute! You can do that. Be Bella, 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 excuse me. Nobody invited you in this matter. Yes. Mm. Please. Um, decency. Have you seen it? It's okay, just ignore her. Um, my son will be coming with his kinsmen to perform her marriage rites. Better. Better. My daughter should be treated like a queen here because she is carrying a real child. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. Of course, she should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> more wine. Oh, oh more wine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, she's my special daughter. My only daughter. Mm -hmm. She needs to be treated like a queen. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that's Honestly, I'm okay. um, even beginning to see her as my own child. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you want us to send delegates to remind you that it is time for you to come and take your wife. Look at my daughter. Isn't she beautiful? trembled at the sound of that woman's voice. Is it just my imagination? Or is there something you're not telling us? Come. You should be talking about how to pay Anne's bride price. Instead of taking some lazy being round town all in the name of lunch. I will do it when I want. No! You will do it this weekend. I will not do it. No, no, you will do it. I will not do I it, you mother. Will do it. I will not do what it. What is going on here? Tell your son to go and pay the right price of the lady that is carrying his child. Well, that's not supposed to be an issue. I'm just coming from the ancestral home. I went there with your group. We have procured items needed for the marital. What? But, but you should have told me, father. One day you will remember this day and thank me for what I did. I will remember nothing. Wait, my love. Father, 
I do not mean to question your actions. But in as much as you feel it's best you pay this girl's bright price, I still feel that there is a necessity in finding out who she is truly. And mother, why are you so scared of her mother? Bella, shut up. If you must know Bella, my grandson will never be born outside this palace. Set yourself some out too. Thank you. This is not going to be an easy one. I prefer this with this. Right. Mm -hmm. This is not mine. Take them inside, okay? have the cutting to say hi. Is she from the bush? Well, Diana, it is needless me telling you this because it has happened before your very eyes. The battle line is drawn. You are the first wife here. You won't let some arrogant girl come here and take your man from you. You put your foot down and fight. You hear me? And don't forget, I will always, always be by you. Thank you. Give it to me, baby. Come and take me to our bedroom. Be fast about that. And again, tell them where to tell them to show my mates their room. Oh, hold it. Is this supposed to be a form of greeting or what? Oh, good day, sir. Obi, please take me to my room. Who, if I may ask, are these girls? These are my mates. And you're here already? That's nice. <laughs> Mother, please tell them to take me to our bedroom. Oh, this way. Mother, mother, please. Hold on, please. Where are you taking no rather, where are you taking her to? And huh? this way. Sure. 